So today we're going to be testing my electric lawn tractor and moving some gravel. My neighbor asked me to push that gravel around on his driveway, and I don't mind doing it. It's a good test, and also he's given me a lot of free stuff, like old tires and whatnot, so it's nice to repay him. Electric lawn tractor is a little bit wet, but oh well. I'll just put the front plow thing on the front and get the batteries in there and we should be good to go. My ear's been kind of a mess because last night I went through like a cleaning spree throwing stuff out of my shed that I'm going to be throwing away. Or just stuff that doesn't have to be inside the shed. Have it pretty cleaned up in here. Have these batteries charged. They've been charging at 15 amps for the past like two hours. Let's get 60 volts of batteries in here and wire it up. And there we go. Five 12 volt batteries connected in series to give us 60 volts with the main power switch up here. I'm going to break it up a bit first. I just had a battery explode. That battery exploded. Popped all the tops off. <laughs> There's the top. Wow. I really wish I'd caught that on film. This thing was negative three volts before. Wow, it has obliterated those plates.
Must have been this cell that exploded. It's pretty cool. It's just destroyed all the plates in there. This battery was always the weakest of them all, and I think it's the oldest too, so... It's no surprise that it got drained and then reverse charged. It was like, it's supposed to be 10 amp hours, but it was only like 2 amp hours, so... Eh, fuck it. It's a piece of junk anyway. I guess we're, we're down to only 4 batteries, 48 volts. Well, that only took an hour and a half. Pretty good. Very happy with this. So, we had a battery blow up, which was kind of interesting, but it was a shitty battery anyway. I just wish that Royal King would, let, would still let me trade batteries off the recycling skid. And another problem is becoming more self-evident. The axle pivots and this is mounted to the axle. So when the axle pivots, this whole thing pivots. So if one goes up, if one side goes up a bump, well then this turns, and so it, it, it amplifies any movement. And I didn't, I didn't weld that straight, did I? Look at that, it's twisted. Yeah, I didn't weld that right. Oh well, it works. Oh well. I plan on making a second version of this someday anyway. Now let's get this back to my house. <laughs> Way far over there, I know. And let's check the battery, see how much power that took. Ran over a train rail. Moving that gravel definitely took a lot of energy. This is at 12.6 volts, 11.9, 12.0, 12.2 volts, and this one is dead. So I'm gonna go charge these ones, and there's a chance that maybe I, maybe I did not charge this one. Maybe it didn't get a connection on there. And so it was actually still at 11.9 volts, so that's why it reverse charged and got it to minus 3 volts and then blew it up. Either way, it's fine. Now I'll just use this as a source of acid. If I ever need acid for something. I got acid over my hands and stuff, I was like, bleh. And no, the acid does not burn your hands like this. Mostly just because it's an old battery, but oh well. As the batteries age, the sulfuric acid just it just deteriorates. Like the acid in here, it's probably only like it's probably about 90% water and 0.5% acid. The rest is just junk that's left over and stuff like that. 
Meanwhile, a newer battery would, would have a little bit more acid, but still, it's it's not like pure sulfuric acid. People always get confused about that, and what, it really doesn't help whenever the news and stuff like that say that this, so-and-so splashed battery acid in someone's face, but what they mean is pure battery acid, because you can buy concentrated battery acid to pour into your batteries to revive them, and that's what they're talking about, not actual battery acid, they're talking about re uh, concentrated battery acid. Ah, oh, well, pretty happy with this. I think I'm gonna have to build a, a second one sometime though. It'll be a lot more powerful. And it won't be as wimpy. Because this one, even though it does... I'd say this does about the work of one human. But it would be really cool to make one that make, that does the work of two people. Or even like four people. Has a bigger motor. And just is better built. You know what, before I go, let's try to charge this one. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you guys how this battery system acted and how it exploded. So basically, I was trying to push the thing, and it just wasn't getting much power. And then it just it sounded like a small firecracker went off inside underneath the hood. Just poof, and that was it. I'm surprised that small sound had that much energy. Pretty interesting. But yeah, it, it wasn't like a super loud sound. It, it, it just sounded like... Like that, kind of. Just uh, about that loudness. Just, oh, wow, that, that was a sound, huh? Well, that happened. Well, look at that. Five of the cells are still good, so it still could function as a 10-volt battery. It's just the ending cell's bad. Thing is, though, this entire battery's shit, so I don't know if I'll really... I don't know if it's worth it. It's so far gone anyway. I was tempted to throw it away, or not throw it away, but swap it for another one even before it blew up, so I don't know. Oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!